Hey guys, Mohan Pobert here and today I'm going to show you how to buy businesses even if you have no experience and this is part four. Let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about how to buy businesses or how to grow your existing business by acquisitions. I believe this is the best way to grow if you have an existing business because there's only so much sales and marketing you can do. And also, if you never had a business before, I think you'd rather go and buy existing business that's already producing revenue, income, got employees, got customers, got track record. And you can buy that business using the business assets as basically the leverage for paying for the acquisitions. Um, so it's probably going to cost you the same amount of money to start a business versus to buy an existing one. So this is what this channel is all about. Subscribe, like, um, so you won't miss any new video because I'm posting daily. And see in the description below, we have a free business buying mastermind that you can join. And we also have a link for you to click and literally share with me your ideas for videos so I can post daily um, on them. That's how I find out topics for new videos. So do that right now if you didn't yet. Um, send me your biggest questions and I'll create videos for you. So in the last three videos, we talked about the beliefs that you need to have. We talked about the outcome that you need to focus on, which isn't your personal outcome, but it's more about the outcome of the seller of the business, because many times those owners are selling their business for many other things other than just the capital that you are willing to offer for that business. Um, we also talked about, like I said, the belief, the commitment that you need to have and the system that you need to have that got to be current and updated and not a system that worked maybe a few years ago and probably isn't working right now. For example, a few years ago, 10, 20 years ago, you needed to go knock door to door or send physical letters in order to get in touch with business owners. Now that's not the case. You can do many things online and you can save yourself so much time to filter through deals if you use those technologies. And if you're following a system that isn't updated, you're just missing on opportunities. And today I want to talk about support and accountability. So if last time we talked about the fact that you got to have follow the right system and that's with everything you're doing in life, you got to follow the right system. I'm here to tell you that if you don't have the right support and accountability, I don't care what system you follow. I don't care what beliefs you have. I don't care if you know how to position yourself in front of the business owner and if you know what questions to ask. If you don't have the right support and accountability around you, there is not, just no chance that you'll be able to push through um, basically outside your comfort zone. It's really, really difficult to do things that you never did and to go and do them for the first time and to do them with certainty unless you have someone around you who already did it, who, are, who is there to support you literally throughout all the process and show you, hey, this is what you should do and this is what you shouldn't do. Because in the end of the day, we all have fears. It's all come down to your fear. And I believe, and everyone out there who really made it, understand that success is 80% psychology and mindset and only 20% about the actual strategy that you follow. And I think that only when I, I didn't made it yet, but when I got a little bit success in life, that's where I really realized how my mindset held me back back then. I remember when I started in business, I thought, hey, I, I read all those books. I know about mindset. I understand this process. I'm a self-development junkie. But you and you always read about fear and fear this and fear that. But only when you get into some kind of a success, you understand how much fear was there holding you back and how much faster you could go there if you didn't have the, those fears and those beliefs. And just to give you an example, just think about the, the, the word and, and the health space, right? Let's say everyone out there know that you need basically to eat less and to work out more in order to get the results that you want in, in regards to your health if you want to lose weight. Obviously, if you want to build muscle, that there's a bit different changes there. But I'm just talking in general. Everyone know that if you need to go out there, lose weight, you got to follow the right diet and you got to work out. But if you, so, so pretty much everyone got the system, right? Everyone got their system. Obviously beliefs are different, but many times because they don't have the accountability and support, they're not able to follow through and actually take the right action and be committed to the right action unless they have the support and accountability. And that's why you see many times that only when someone hire a personal trainer, that's where they really get results. But even if that personal trainer, all he's doing is just working out with you two times a week or something like that, and he's not there with you throughout the day and making sure that you're eating the right things, that's not enough. You gotta be there literally throughout all the process and make sure you're accountable. Otherwise, if he's talking to you, I don't know, once a week or he's working out with you, doing one workout with you once a week, that's not enough. You gotta have someone to keep you accountable all the time and to keep, pushing through you the right beliefs in order to move forward towards your success. 
And after you have that accountability and support, I think the next most important thing is your commitment. I think that there's no in between. You can be, you can have fast success. You either thousand percent committed or you're not committed at all. So if you're not 1000% literally committed, you probably won't make it. Like literally you always find excuses on why not. And just by you saying, hey, I'll give it a try. I'll, I'll try and see if that works for me. You already gave up. You already not committed. When I'm talking commitment, I'm talking you're gonna die before you give up basically on the dream. That's how much committed I am. And I don't care what will happen. I have my commitment, I have my goals and there's no way that I'll give up. I'd rather live a life of failure than life of regret, knowing that I just tried or I gave up after a few tries that didn't work. And I see that happens all the time in, in, in any place in the world, not just business or buying businesses, or I see that in health and mindset and happiness and in relationships and all that stuff. People literally just try a few times and because they didn't make the commitment to begin with, the thousand percent committed, they're always finding a reason on why this didn't work or why they're not special or why they're not gifted or why they're not lucky. They always find a, a reason of why it didn't work for them. And for those who committed, they'll always find a way to continue. And when you continue and literally hustle and go with your blind spot, you, you, you just go towards your goals, you'll get that success eventually. It's inevitable. And you can't be half pregnant, guys. And if it was so easy, everyone out there would be a billionaire. Everyone out there would have the next Apple or the next Facebook, but it's not that easy. The process is simple, but because people don't have those support system and accountability and they're not committed and they don't have the right beliefs and they don't have the right systems, that's why they're not able to move through. And even with those videos, like many times, I'm literally trying to give you everything that I can, but what I find out is that with every video that I put out there, people find out 20 more questions to, uh, I guess, doubt themselves on why they can't take the next step. And the reason that they can't take the next step is because they don't have the support and accountability to move forward. And that's why I created the partner program, which will literally walk you through everything and support you 24 seven to do deals with you as your partners. You have someone who did deals and is doing deals for a living and a team that did more than 300 deals, not just to give you the right system and education, but to literally walk through your fears and do the work with you. And that's why we try to keep it as simple as possible and to keep you as accountable as possible to take the next step. Because with everything in life, you got to commit to the next step. You can't look too many steps ahead. You got to trust in the process and trust that when you're going to take the next step, the next step will reveal itself based on where you're at at the moment. I really think that it's about literally burning the boats and giving yourself no other option. You got to tell to yourself at some point, just this is enough. I'm not willing to settle for less than what I can be or become. It just, it makes no sense for me to see people give up again and again, and then they try new things again and again. They don't feel that they're enough. They don't have people around them to show them that they're enough. They don't have people around them to give them the right systems. And they always find a reason of why not, or they tell themselves one day or someday. And someday it isn't in the calendar. There's no day like that. And unless you're going to really take yourself in your hand and, and really commit and tell to yourself enough, I'm cutting everything that is, uh, isn't helping me, everything that is distracting me and you just eliminate it from your life. And I'm just focused on my one goal. There's no way you'll be successful with this, guys. I, I can tell you, I stopped talking to many friends. I literally deleted almost all of my apps from my phone. I'm on airplane mode almost all of the time because I have my goals. I know I need to execute on those tasks and that's all. I don't give a shit about anything else. Yes, I do have my time to focus on my health, on my relationships, on my happiness, but they are very focused towards moving forward. I'm not giving the word to, to basically tell me how to live my life and I'm not being distracted by too many things. I'm focused, I'm 100% committed and I make sure that my actions are speaking louder than my words. And I see people in our program, in the partner program, we have PhDs, we have many degrees and Harvard and all that stuff. It doesn't matter, guys. In this space, especially in businesses and buying businesses, I don't care how many degrees you have, you either bought a business or you don't. You either own a successful seven-figure business or you don't. There's no in-between. And many people, the people who have degrees, have the most self-doubt. They think that they need to learn more. They think that they need to be more smart. And that's not the case. 
And many times it's literally just about one or two distinctions to take you from a path that leads you to failure. And then those one, two distinctions in the beginning of the process can literally swing you a little bit to the right and change your, your life completely. So that's my focus for this video, guys. The commitment, focus on that, guys. You need to make a decision with yourself that it's enough. You're not willing to settle anymore. You don't want to be broke and you are willing to eliminate everything that is distracting you from achieving your goal and if it's to buy a business then i'm here to help you and if it is to do something else i don't care what's your dream go and do that but if you're committed to something if you have a goal to achieve something and if it's a lifestyle if it's an income i believe buying a business is the best thing you can do if it's something else go and pursue it and eliminate everything else and stop watching my videos even if it uh, go and, and stop listening to everyone else stop watching videos all the time sp stop reading books all the time eliminate everything and focus on your one goal if you want to own seven figure business go and buy one if you want to invent something go and invent something if you want to become a doctor go and be a doctor but forget about everything else be 100 percent committed on your path and go and do that and i'm here to help you guys whatever i can so i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video